Hey Jim, this is my newest build. This is a Kona Ute cargo bike and I stuck a BBS-02 here in the middle of this bad boy to make it a mid-drive e-bike. Uh, got a 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery stuffed in this little bag. With plenty of room to spare for whatever else you want to put in this little bag. Um, pretty solid setup. The only thing that I would really say Maybe we're different with this uh, bike than any other install video in install I've done. Is it, you often with a long cargo bike like this have don't have enough room with your speed sensor. I was lucky enough to be able to just reach without having to do an extension. Um, and sometimes, like I had to change some of the drivetrain. I needed to put a new chain, but that actually involves buying two chains and stringing them together. Um, this has got a 44 tooth chain ring on the front. So there was a special going on from California e-bike, which is where I get this motor from. See a link down below for a discount from California e-bike. Here's a little closer look. What I did with a lot of this is a lot of the wires, the extra length of wire, I brought them all here. That way I can put them kind of behind this bag and they're kind of almost hidden by this wrapping. So I actually have just messed with this so it isn't quite as hidden as it would usually be. So it is pretty hard to really tell you have an e-bike going on here and this bag fits really nicely in this triangle. A couple other things I did is I didn't really like the stock disc brakes so I put on a dual piston uh, front caliper there so that may really increase the braking performance with a new rotor. I uh, so put new pads back here on the V-brake so you got a little Got some new stuff and like I said, I always try to replace as much stuff with the drivetrain as I can. I did not replace the cassette um, But typically when I do a fresh install since I got a new chain ring I'll put on a new chain and the cassette. It always just depends on the shape of the cassette in the rear And this one looked to be in good shape. This is a 2008 Kona Ute Long, you know, kind of like a mid-tail cargo bike um, You know, I like the green look. It's pretty fun 700 C sort of narrowish wheels, but you got a real beefy setup, um, you know, wide tubing, just kind of a real industrial looking bike. I think it's pretty fun. Kona also had these swept back handlebars. I had some fit issues. So this is bike is about ready to go to a new owner, um, mostly because I really couldn't get uh, it to like fit for me. I tried stems and stem risers and different handlebars and longer seat posts. I, I tried everything. So this is a medium frame and it just doesn't quite fit me. But has the mustache bars, which uh, is really nice for the upright stance on a cargo bike. Got the color display on this particular model and this left thumb throttle, heavy duty thumb throttle. And I'll be honest, I'm not too sure I'm keen on the rotation direction with this throttle. I think I actually like the other style better, um, even though this one's supposed to be a little bit heavier duty, so that's why I picked this one. I'm only running with one brake cut off, and I have it here on the right brake, which is also nice because then I can hit the brake and then use that as a clutch. All I gotta do is be able to engage the motor cutoff, shift, and keep going. So it works, it works really nicely. The wide bars, I couldn't quite get the button pad all the way over. That's just the way sometimes these things work. It's not a perfect, perfect science. I have this set up for nine levels of assist and I use my own programming. I'm gonna buzz around the block and just show you how fast this thing. This thing's pretty damn fast. Even with that 44 tooth chain ring, you just have enough, you just have enough gearing that on the top speed, I'm pretty positive is over 30 miles per hour and we're gonna go see what that is. The BBS-02 feels really great. It has a really even pull. It's not like overly powerful. Uh, people that are not even that familiar with a mid-drive or e-bike at all, really, um, can adapt to this really quickly. You might have noticed I got one dangler here. That's because, like I said, I ran one brake. Um, and this style of motor, actually, it's in this bundle. Oh, nope, it's right there. Um, also has wiring for front and rear lights if you chose to go that route, so you have that output if you want it. So I'm here in assist level four. This isn't even with a 100% charged battery, so maybe it isn't the best representation. So you can see this particular display actually gives you a little current watt uh, usage indicator. It doesn't seem to be very accurate. Um, especially in lower output scenarios, I can actually feel like in assist levels one through three where it's actually putting out a little bit of power and that still registers zero. Um, so it doesn't seem to be ultra accurate, um, but it can give you a ballpark figure. It's nice to know how much you're drawing at a given time. All right, so let's, let's, we're just gonna hit it. 
We're gonna go go up to nine. That way, you're not restricted in any possible way. It's only about halfway through my drivetrain. See what we got here. So it's still pulling. So we're a little into the wind there, just a little shy of 30. So that top speed is even more changeable uh, by your gearing, of course. And the other thing that I did not necessarily do is I didn't bump the top speed uh, capability in the display all the way up. And I also tend to set my maximum controller output a little lower. So I'm setting it a couple amps lower than the recommended maximum. So. But you can still see, with all that being said, still pretty dang easy to get one of these up to 30 miles per hour. Pretty awesome. So that's another build. You know, the I'll put on the screen right now what the final bike weight is as it sits. One of the best things, I think it's in the mid 50 pound range, is you have an e-bike that's way lower weight, way faster, feels better, more responsive. It's like, it's pretty much more everything. Uh, the only potential with a mid-drive is slightly more, uh, drivetrain wear and you might have to do some more maintenance on them than you would on that particular part of the bike.